Okay, we are back for another episode of Monday Nitro where we need for ratings to improve. So, we've got some good matches um, in line and we're going to kick things off with a TV title defence um, for, for Wall beating his old foe for Cat. Then we've got an interview with Goldberg hyping up the three-way match tonight between Goldberg himself, Jarrett and Steiner, a rematch um, of the bout that took place at Halloween Havoc a few weeks ago. Air Raid are going to retain their cruiserweight tag titles against Skipper and Romeo. Then we've got the interview for Road Warriors. We just need their feuds with Lex and Buff, who is in rehab, uh, to end as soon as possible. Uh, we've got a cruiserweight title defence. Jamie Noble is, is going to be successfully retaining it over Lash LaRoe, Yushin Liger and Rey Mysterio Jr. Then we've got a romance angle with Mike Orson trying to get him more over with the fans um, whilst he's feuding with Scott, Scott Steiner and he's going to buy Stacey Keebler some flowers. Then we've got the Rat Pack who have uh, been assaulting members of the Filthy Animals. Uh, they're going to face them tonight, 4v4. Uh, Shane Douglas, Boogie Knights and Chris Candido are going to beat Conan, Juventus Guerrero, Chavo Guerrero and also Billy Kidman. So four on four, Shane Douglas is going to pin Conan cleanly after that. So they're going to go after the Evolution Revolution next time. 1v1 angle here, Storm and Hennig. Um, Storm is going to steal Kurt Hennig's finishing manoeuvre and perform it on him. Sting requested his match against Chuck Palumbo and he's got it here, so that should be decent. Uh, we've got a 1v1 uh, offer for tag champs, of course. And then we've got an angle here involving Nash and Hogan. Uh, they're just going to insult each other verbally. Um, so hopefully that will go down well, better than their matches, of course. And Jeff Jarrett is going to retain the World Championship after pinning Scott Steiner cleanly. So he's not pinned Goldberg cleanly, so he's not going to lose any face from it. So let's see. Decent opener from the wall of a cat. Uh, not much more to say on that one. That went well, Goldberg backstage. Skipper Romeo um, and Air Raid. Always good matches, cruiserweight uh, tag matches or cruiserweight uh, just single matches, they all get good ratings, and that's what we need to focus on more. Road Warriors backstage, that was better than their interview segment last show. Very good. Uh, expected maybe a little bit better. I'm assuming that Rey Mysterio, um, it's because of him that this didn't get any higher, but, you know, I wanted to give him a chance. I've given him so many chances now. And uh, it could be time to release Rey Mysterio again for a final time. Uh, soon, anyway, after his uh, feud with uh, Air Raid. Stacey Keebler, Mike Awesome. Thought that might get a bit better, but it certainly wasn't a disaster. A uh, very good match between the Rat Pack and the Filthy Animals there. Kurt Hennig. Is in the ring. Lance Storm comes out and attacks. Lance Storm gets the upper hand. Kurt Hennig is in trouble. Hennig plex. Lance Storm stole the finisher of Kurt Hennig and used it on him. For US champ embarrasses Kurt Hennig. Chuck Palumbo and Sting. Very good match there. Pleased with that. It's a possible feud um, between the two. It could do it, but I do like the idea of having Sting feud with uh, Kurt Hennig after... Um, he wins the title off Lance Storm at some point. So um, it's a good one to bear in mind, Sting, Chuck Palumbo. Hulk Hogan lost overness from this, so Nash is in the ring. Hogan comes out onto the stage, trade insults back and forth, building towards a match between the two. And the main event, very good. I think that got better than their actual uh, pay-per-view match, I think. Um, but Goldberg throat first drop onto the top rope from Jeff Jarrett blocks a suplex attempt using the power Scott Steiner superplex 1-2-3 so that's how that ended 74% a good Nitro show but it's the rating for TV rating that is most important so let's see how we did 
6.45 for Raw. That's it. That is what we want. That is our highest rating in quite a while. 5.04. Still a way off Raw, but we are heading in for right direction. 7,500 tickets sold. That's where we want to be. Fantastic. And just like that, we are back to Thursday Funder. Unhappy workers, Ray's gone up a little bit. Nash, Lance, Storm. Not much news here. Let's have a look at the feuds. That's still going on. As is that one. Lance Storm, Kurt Hennig, Lance Storm's running away with that uh, feud there. And uh, we need some of these feuds to end. We need this, um, not that one, Road Warriors and Totally Buff. We need that to end soon. So there we have it. That uh, is going to conclude this show. We'll sort out what's going to go on on Thunder. Maybe Hogan Nash, although I don't know. We know it's going to be bad, don't we? So we'll we'll sort it out and uh, we'll be back for another episode very soon, but not that long, just a couple of weeks until our Mayhem pay-per-view. So stay tuned for that and we'll have a whole load of new feuds starting very shortly. <laughs>